Let's talk solutions. I see a lot of comments in posts, people asking, what do we do? We know we have a problem. We know politicians and the mainstream media and corporations have completely lost their marbles, completely abandoned humanity, and are actually working against us, not only here in America, but worldwide. We currently are probably going to be short-lived, but we currently are the world's superpower. I feel as Americans, if you're an American watching this, we have a moral and ethical obligation to help fix the shit that our government is creating. And, and we are creating a bunch of really bad scenarios in the world. Most everyone sees it at this point in time. And we really are in solution phase. And again, this video was prompted the other day because I saw another comment. What do we do about it? Well, I have 11 things that you can do about it. Start doing about it right now. I'm going to go through this list fairly quickly. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's dive in. Number one, let me just, before I get in here, the first five are things to stop doing and the second six are things to start doing. Number one, stop watching the news. Stop watching movies coming out of mainstream Hollywood. Stop watching the Netflix bullshit. Stop listening to anything that they create. So much of that stuff is created to propagandize and to manipulate and to program us. You may be saying to yourself, Mark, what's the big deal with the news? I can, I can decipher what's good and bad and, and take what's good and, and not. Well, I got sucked in and I know better. I know better. I got sucked into the little submarine story back earlier this summer. My, my, my problem with the news and anything coming out of Hollywood is it, it may be entertaining. Yes, it may be all those things, but I don't think anyone understands the level of programming that we are being subjected to in these movies, in the music, in the mainstream media, in the television shows, in the shows coming out on Apple TV, Hulu TV, um, the, that invasion show with the aliens, the new Julia Roberts show about a end of time scenario. That stuff is bullshit. That doesn't feed our mind in the best possible way. And I actually feel it's very detrimental so from a psychological standpoint, from an emotional standpoint. I feel it induces fear. I feel it induces anxiety. I feel that it has all these subtle ramifications, subtle, subtle negative outcomes for our body and our mind when we watch that shit. I, I realize that you may get some value out of it, but I say turn it all off and, and avoid it. Number two, stop paying attention to politicians and public health officials. Bundled in with this one, and you've got to make your own mind up for this. What I do is I don't comply with any of those people. I don't trust them. I find them to be either corrupt or incompetent. That's the range. That's the scale that they're on. That's why in 2020 and 2021, they came and said, oh, we got a problem. I'm like, okay, I made that decision. Let me make a snap here. I made that decision real quick within a nanosecond because I know them. I know who they are. Maya Angelou said, when people show you who they are, believe them and generally believe them the first time. So stop paying attention to the to the political circus and or the public health circus. I know that's challenging and, and I feel I have a, a bit of an advantage because for 20 years I've been studying diet and nutrition and health. And when you when you realize that everything your government does, the FDA, the the food they they approve to be eaten in our for our, given to our kids or in the grocery stores, when you realize that so much of that food is total garbage for the human body. Seed oils, high sugar content, preservatives, um, genetically modified, flavor enhancers, excitotoxins that make the food taste better than it really is. When you know that, you know they're full of shit. So it comes back to this principle of falsus unus, falsus optimus. If they're full of shit, and lying to you in one area, they're full of shit and lying to you in every area. So for me, it was very easy. For people who may not have studied that for those many years and dive into what we should be eating to promote optimal health in our body, I realized that I may sound like a crazy person. Well, Mark, the federal government's there to help us regulate the food and keep it safe. They're not. But 
you may have to investigate a little bit in order to arrive at that conclusion. I arrived at it, I arrived at it very quickly because for, for decades I've been studying this and I already knew they're full of shit. All right. Stop. Number three, stop following and listening to celebrities that are, that are clearly working for the establishment. One of the red flags that I just thought was um, diabolical, quite frankly, during the, the last three years was to have celebrities roll up their sleeves and show people, hey, I got the thing. Because they know so many people want to be like celebrities, you know, they want to, they want to emulate them, they look up to them, you know, these people are basically like mini demigods to people, to some people. And I thought it was diabolical that they did that. But here again shows the level of desperation. They use all their means in order to achieve the end, which was uptake of the you-know-what. So stop looking to, to mainstream celebrities. They're sellouts. Many of these people will do anything to make money or to be famous. They have Many of these people have a void inside of them that they look to fill from outward gratification. They are broken people, many of them. Not all, not all, but many of them are broken people. Number four, I touched on this earlier. Stop eating their food and drinking their drinks. Specifically, what I'm talking about is processed foods, fast foods, genetically modified foods, high sugar, high oil, all the bullshit that they sell you for convenience in the grocery store. Let's not also let's also not forget the cereals that you may be feeding to your children. Those cereals in the cereal aisle, most of them are garbage, high sugar, high bullshit, fake vitamins that your body can't assimilate easily and or at all that may actually cause problems that may cause problems specific and also fast food i feel not only does the fast food industry and processed food harm our body but i think it also harms our mind i think it affects our ability to think clearly to be critical thinkers to have you know an open mind i think it does all sorts of things to the human body that's number four Number five, and then we're going to go on to the six things you can start doing. Stop buying their shit. Most of that shit comes from China. We are seduced into buying a lot of garbage that we don't need, especially high ticket items, homes, cars, vacations, etc. They keep us on a hamster wheel to keep us, in many cases, broke as a joke buying shit we don't need to impress people we don't like to try to fill that void inside of ourselves like oh this commercial that guy looks real happy driving that brand new eighty thousand dollar luxury sports car i'm gonna buy it i'm not saying don't enjoy things i enjoy things just as much as the other person but i'll tell you what i enjoy more than things that's time maybe go for a walk by a river go for a hike have a walk with a friend, meet up with a friend for coffee. My point is this. We all know that in America, consumerism is king, right? Watch the movie, the documentary, The Story of Stuff, and it'll show you the life cycle of stuff. Many, many things that we buy, the natural resources are mined or gotten in some way, goes to the factories, produced, and then it goes in the landfill in a very short period of time. That's bullshit. I think about all of the cargo containers that we know are at the bottom of the ocean along the trade routes coming out of China, and it's a lot. It's a lot. Stop buying their shit. The benefit of that is you're going to have more money that you can then invest to buy things that really matter. All right, let's get into the six things that you can start doing solutions to what's happening in our world where we know politicians aren't our friends. We know the mainstream media isn't our friends. We're being basically robbed by billions of dollars leaving our country in, in foreign aid when there's a lot of problems we have in America we could use that money for. So number six is start building parallel economies. The economy that economies that they create when you're feeding money and buying products that are made by in many cases, a handful of corporations. What happens when a cool new product, let's say Burt's Bees, or what's the other one that just, uh, I thought just, there's a number of products that start off great, start off cool, 
and they're healthy and all that. Well, Bragg's, uh, Bragg's family of foods, right? The Bragg's liquid aminos, they make olive oil, they make um, apple cider vinegar, they make a whole wide variety of stuff. They just sold out to a larger, I guess, investment group. Katy Perry is a part of it. I don't buy Bragg shit anymore. I don't like that. I think when those kind of situations happen and they get folded into larger corporate conglomerates, they start stripping out some of the value and making the shit cheaper and or even detrimental. I don't know, but I don't trust them. Hold up a bottle of old Bragg's apple cider vinegar to the new Bragg's apple cider vinegar and the new one is markedly clearer. That means there's less dense, less dense nutrients in there. I think it's bullshit. So when I say start building parallel economies, start thinking ways that you can start start producing something that other people might need and then buy what you need from other people on a local scale or outside of the system that they've created. Remember, handful of corporations generally have industries locked up. We know that this happens in the media, right? What is it? Six, now six people own all the media outlets in the world. That's bullshit, right? That's why I say don't watch the media. Um, and then those people are all tied in with the military industrial complex with, you know, the media com complex and the military industrial complex are basically one. That's why I say, don't watch it. So build parallel economies. If you can, that's super beneficial. Number seven, start being more self-sufficient, learn how to make things, learn how to fix things, learn how to, you know, get by with what you've got. That'll save you some money and some time. And also you might end up with a better product. Number eight, start building relationships, right? One of the main ways that these bums are conquering or seek to conquer us is to divide us, right? Start building relationships. We're more similar than we are different, right? We all want the same things. Safe, safe neighborhoods, uh, prosperous cities, um, good food to eat, uh, work that we find meaningful and satisfying and fulfilling, you know, clue, anything that you're doing in service of other people is generally going to fill your soul up. Doesn't matter, matter what it is. Find something that you like doing and do it, right? So start building relationships with people. We're, we're more alike than we are different. They want you to think that you're different from that other person, but you're really not. Um, that's number eight. Number nine, start sharing knowledge. I always encourage people, especially at this time and place in our world and America, where clearly they are doing a psychological psyop war on humanity and on America to hammer away at the great thing we have here. If you feel so inclined, become a citizen journalist and share things that you find. Many people are researching. Many people are doing the research. If you feel that something you found is beneficial, share it with other people. That's all I do, right? When I find something, and I got a whole bunch more videos coming up, especially some videos on Mr. Donald Trump, who I no longer feel is our savior. And I'll share that with you in future video. Um, start sharing knowledge on your social media, wake people up, wake your friends and family up, inform them. Knowledge is power. We are in an information war right? We are in a psychological war. If you can share something that helps another person from becoming a victim to the bullshit, then you're a hero, my friend. That's number nine. Number 10 is start praying. I believe firmly we're in a spiritual war. I believe this is as Ephesians talks about. This is a war of principalities. This is not a war of flesh and blood. This is, from my perspective, the big show. It just feels like it. It looks like it. Everything's lining up. I feel this is the big show. And you know what the big show is I'm talking about. I, this is why about a year ago, year and a half ago, I got real serious in this arena. Real serious. Because I see evil in the world. 100%. I see evil more than I see God in the world. So, I mean, it, it becomes a natural it becomes a natural solution, a natural evolution. If I see some evil shit, I know there has to be some equally good shit because that's how the world is. So start praying if you are so inclined and or reading the Bible 
and or any type of spiritual texts that support you in the way that, that you need to be supported. Number 11, and last but not least, start doing your purpose. One of the benefits of all this shit that is happening in the world is it's waking a lot of people up to the fact that, hey, we might be gone tomorrow. Those mofos might hit the button and the whole world might be gone tomorrow. Start making your music, singing your song, um, creating the things that are in your heart, creating the things that God is inspiring you to create, sharing it with the world. I believe, I believe one of the reasons so many people got caught up in the bullshit from 2020, the last three years, is because many people aren't living their purpose. When you're living your purpose, you have zero time to entertain bullshit. Zero time to entertain bullshit. Because you know that every moment is so precious. And once you've found your purpose, discovered your purpose, you know that you you know that your your reason for being your ikigai is to deliver the payload into this world, whether it's a music, whether it's a piece of architecture, whether it's a piece of art, whether it's some type of service, whether it's some type of entertainment experience, whatever your purpose is that gives you meaning, fulfills you on a deep level, is satisfying, joyful, you got to do that. That's what they fear. They And this also ties back in with them capturing attention. That's what pissed me off about the last three years and actually made me get into the game. The first thing that made me get into the game, I got so pissed off that they were hijacking the attention of my fellow human beings, people just like you, and f- capturing it and making them focus on all the bullshit. I was like, dang, I'm now losing out because they captured hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people's attentions and made them turn toward them, like almost in like a a cult-like fashion, right? Look at me, look at me, look at me. We got the latest news, the latest this, the latest that from the media or your public health official or your favorite political person. A person who is on their purpose doesn't have any time for that bullshit because they know how important it is to deliver their purpose to the world. Like Stephen Pressfield talked about in The War of Art. If you don't do the thing that you're inspired to do, you let down yourself, you let down God, you let down all of us, you let down the angels that watch over you, it's very important that you're doing your purpose and living your life. So there's my two cents of the 11 solutions. I don't think they're that outlandish. I think they're very practical, to be quite honest. If everyone started doing these things, do you know how fast their bullshit would wither on the vine? really fast, really, really fast. If you got any value from this video, please share it with a friend. Um, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on my YouTube channel or all, and also on my social media anywhere at, at G Mark Phillips. And I also want to invite you to check out the Focus and Flow store at focusandflow.co. That's products and apparel for conscious creators. I am in the process of releasing a guide on how to help you create your best life in eight areas. And the core basis of that guide talks about purpose. I have 41 different ways that you can discover your purpose so that you can do that in the world and be a benefit to humanity and also enrich yourself at the same time. You enrich everyone else and you enrich yourself. So that's coming very, very soon. Again, at focusandflow.co. There's a link somewhere in the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you spending the time. Until next time, I wish you all the best, health, wealth, and success. Have an awesome day.